Hi guys, we're going to talk about record types. I had a question from a student in Udemy uh, named Sabrina who was asking about record types. And she specifically mentioned this particular help article that I've got highlighted here, this link, which is how is record type access specified. And this is an online help article from Salesforce and it's talking about how you can assign record types to users in both profile and permission sets. It also gets into the master record type, which is the default record type that exists before you introduce additional record types to an object. And I wanted to try and answer this question and explain some of this more fully because the master record type is a constant source of confusion. It comes up in a lot of questions. I wanted to kind of demonstrate how the master record type comes into play and then how it in essence, it goes away somewhat once other record types are introduced, but you still have to assign page layouts to each record type, whether a profile has access to that record type or not. And specifically, one thing that this particular student was asking, uh, I'll go back to it here, she's mentioning this particular paragraph, users can view records assigned to any record type. As a result, a page layout is assigned to every record type on a user's profile. A record type assignment on a user's profile or permission set doesn't determine whether a user can view a record with that record type. The record type's assignment simply specifies that the user can use that record type when creating or editing a record. So that's very confusing verbiage. And that paragraph there is this one here. And I'll link to this in the description of this video. I thought I would throw this up on YouTube and then link to it in the answer because I felt like I couldn't answer this via text. So I'm trying to explain this through video and hopefully I do a decent job of this. And so now um, what I'm in is I'm in a Salesforce org and this is one that I'm currently recording my Service Cloud course in. And so I've enabled knowledge and knowledge management. And so I've got these different knowledge articles. Now knowledge is something that you may or may not be familiar with in Salesforce but you can specify different record types for knowledge articles. And so each knowledge article is an individual record and it uses what is known as the knowledge standard object. And so here's an example of a knowledge article with the master uh, record type. And so what I did was I created a knowledge article with master record type. And if you look at record type here, it doesn't really say that it's master record type. There is no record type assigned, so therefore it's assigned the default of master and then some of these other knowledge articles how to log in how to log out let's look at those these record types this one has a record type of faq for frequently asked questions and then how to log out uh, that has a record type also of faq so if i go into setup and i'm going to go into my profile here's my system administrator profile and we go to object settings to look at the knowledge object now let me find knowledge and there it is. So knowledge down here at the bottom defaults varies by record type. Let me click on that. And so what I have here is I've got two record types introduced. I've got the fact and the tutorial, and then we've got our original master record type. Now that's not assigned to my profile and it's not designated as my default record type, but I can still view that knowledge article. And so what this long-winded explanation, and it is hard to explain this. I don't know how to explain this with text. Um, so not faulting the help writer, the technical writer that wrote this for Salesforce at all, but trying to explain what this means is that, that although I don't have the master record type assigned to me, I can still view that um, knowledge article that has the master record type. And then another thing I wanted to show is if I click on edit, and if I try to take away, uh, or if I try to actually, if I try to add the master record type, it tells me that if I select the master record type, you cannot include custom record types. And so it's an either or proposition. You can either go back to just a master record type for this profile, or you can use these custom record types. But then if you do that, you can't use the master any longer. So I'm going to click OK, and you notice that the FAC and the, tu and the tutorial record types both went away. And now my default record type for the knowledge object and the assigned record type are the master record type. And then as well, we've got the page layout assignment. Let me click save. So let me go back and um, pull up that 
those knowledge articles again. And so I have assigned to my profile just the master record type, but I could still have access to all of these different uh, knowledge articles, even though I don't have access to those uh, record types. Now, what that controls, though, is my ability to assign a record type to a new record when I create one. So if I say create article, it's just saying to create a knowledge article. So if I go back into setup and change the, um, and if I change the record type designation on my profile again, so if I go back to profiles, and if I go back to system administrator and then object settings, and then if I find knowledge and click on it, and if I change this to one of these custom ones, and here, once again, I, I've got to deselect master in order to introduce these custom record types, clicking OK. My default is FAC. I'm going to also enable tutorial record type for my profile and click Save. And so now if I go back to uh, creating a knowledge article new by going to the Knowledge tab, for example, and click Create Article, now it gives me the option of creating a FAC or a tutorial. And so hopefully that makes some semblance of sense to you, and that's what that particular paragraph means. And so just bearing in mind that the master record type is one that you can assign through profiles, but if you do that, you can also have custom record types tied to that profile as well. And so that is, in essence, what this bullet point is trying to explain is to the best of my knowledge. And then one final thing that I wanted to show like if we were to go into uh, knowledge, I want to show you the page layouts. And so if we go to page layouts, we've got these different page layouts. We go on page layout assignment. And so one thing that's always kind of been a mystery to me and I've not really understood until this question came up and I started digging more deeply into how the master record type goes away once you introduce custom record types is why you need to assign a page layout for each profile for the master record type. And so you notice here we've got these page layout assignments for each profile. And so for example, for my system administrator profile, the master record type has a uh, page layout of knowledge layout, and then the FAQ has this lightning knowledge FAQ layout, and the tutorial has the tutorial layout. I've always wondered, well, why do we need to specify a layout for master once we introduce custom record types? And that's because you may at the profile level revert a profile away from these custom record types and just assign them the master layout. And so you need to have these page layout assignments assigned already so that if things get flipped back and forth, you have those page layout assignments done. And so even though you may not use master once you introduce custom record types, it's still required that you assign a page layout as well. And so all that is is that controls then what page layout you see whenever you're accessing a record based on record type. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that answers your specific question, Sabrina. And hopefully others find this helpful as well. Uh, be sure and leave comments if uh, something doesn't make sense or provide any feedback and give it a thumbs up or share it if you find it helpful.